At first glance, she looks like your everyday chicken, but a closer look reveals that she's missing her feet, and that created a learning opportunity for some local students. 24 Hour News 8's Emily Leonard went inside the West Michigan Aviation Academy to see the unique way that students are learning about engineering. Well, this is a great one to cover today. The chicken's name is Debbie Harry, believe it or not. And after a bitterly cold night last winter, she lost her feet to frostbite. Debbie survived the ordeal and provided a project for one class they'll never forget. You can't keep a chicken named after a rocker down. Debbie Harry, she's okay. named after Blondie. Even after that chicken loses her feet. After finding Debbie frozen to the garage floor one morning last winter at their home in Wyoming, owner Rachel Deepstra reached out on Facebook because, believe it or not, this has happened before. Rachel knew Debbie needed a 3D printer. That's how the students at the West Michigan Aviation Academy got involved. You can't go on a website and be like, hey, let's print this off. <laughs> Some of that type of stuff that you originally think of as like a school project or like an easy A, you can't do that. James Brockman and his classmates started with the basics. We went in and we took a couple preliminary measurements with uh, calipers and then we were like, we're going to 3D print it with the stuff that we have in our school. There's a wall of 3D printers at the school. What we do is we design 3D models on SolidWorks or uh, most of the school uses software called Onshape. Mm -hmm. And then we email them to this computer right here. I like it. Engineering teacher Andrew Abissi says the process of creating a set of prosthetic legs for Debbie taught his students the design process, biomedical engineering, and a big lesson in trial and error. This project has been a semester long and a lot of error going in it. So the fact that they were able to continue and work hard have just been like a tremendous experience and learning opportunity. The students started big, really big, and then they moved on to a sled-like design before developing these feet. The current design is one of about 30 they tried, and so far it's working the best for Debbie. I think we'll use them mostly for winter when it's cold and um, to help her roost at night so she, they like to be up off the ground at night. Improvements in the design continue, but in the meantime, don't worry about Debbie. 3D printer feet or not, Debbie can still cross the road or wherever else she wants to go. Really, she runs around the yard just like this. Yeah. Like, yeah. no problem. She can full out sprint. Well, the reason that Rachel knew a 3D printer would be the answer is because she read about other animals, a duck and a rooster, that also received prosthetic feet from a 3D printer out there online. Yeah, you can yeah. <laughs> Oh, my yeah. goodness. And different colors. That's right. Yeah. It's fashionable as well. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, Thank you.